subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for the latest updates. Hi, what's up beautiful people out there? This is Ashish Johan from Ashish Creation Well. I hope you all guys are doing extremely well. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can create a very dark moody with uh, sunlight falling on the face and the fantasy butterflies are just in the sky and you know, it is really looking fantasy just like Caleb. So before getting to the video, just press the like button on this video so that it will motivate me to make more videos and preset for you guys. And if you still haven't subscribed to our channel, then do subscribe and press the notification icon to get latest updates and visit our website that is www.asfieldcreations.com from there you can download backgrounds, camera preset, lightroom preset, LUTs, PNGs and every kind of you know photo editing stuff just for free so guys go and check it out my website and follow me also on instagram let's jump to the video all you have to do is just you know capture some kind of photograph in such a way that your model is looking at the sky so all you have to do is let's select the photo by using the quick selection tool so just click on the plus icon and roll all over the subject's body to make it selected now just press right click on it and select layer by copy option to make a duplication of the selection so here you can see we have created a layer but the very first thing you have to do is just crop the photograph for your instagram profile so select the crop tool and let's select the 8 is to 10 ratio which is our instagram profile ratio now you can just increase the size of the image like this way this one is really looking awesome now just press enter and hit ok now the next thing would be to add the background on the image so we'll go to the file click on open and let's just browse the background from our computer so here is our background all you have to do is just drag it and drop over here to add the background now go to the edit select free transform and just transform it just increase the size of the image Now you can place this somewhere on this direction. Now this one is here looking very cool. Here we will do create a new layer, create a clipping mask on it and just uh, First of all, we will just select the eraser tool and just delete this unwanted uh, no, hairs from here. Now just select the brush tool and just pick the brownish color and just paint the edge of the image brownish color now just merge it with the background there now select the smudge tool from here and just make the hairs of the subject move it in the upward direction Make the strength to around 80%. So this is how you have to make the hairs of the image.
if this is not looking perfect then you can select the soft round brush and just move it in the upward direction just like this eh? so this will actually you know create your hairs to look very much realistic so you can use the soft round brush to create your hairs now this one is really looking amazing if you want to increase the depthness of the hairs you can go to the filter select the liquify from there and you can increase the volume of the you know brush sorry hairs select this forward wrap to increase the size of the brush and just move it in the upward direction so this will actually you know create a very awesome stunning look on the hairs and it will add some volume on the image so you can see the preview here was a before and after effect still more you can just you know do some kind of you know adjustment from here and press ok now the next thing would be to blur the background of the image so we'll go to the select uh, filter select the first of all we'll crop the image press crop and just press enter now go to the filter select blur gallery and select the tilt shift option from there and just move this slider over here and decrease some kind of you know now this one is really looking amazing and just hit ok Now we'll just go to the color lookup and select the same colder loops which I have already given you in the previous video so you can download it from the website or I will be giving the link of that uh, the same colder loops over here so you can use this loot file to you know add your photograph a uh, very awesome look let's select this 10th file so all you have to do is just go to the selective color from here click on the below icon select the black color and just make it more whitish before making it more white select the burn tool make the exposure to 100% and just do it on the edge of the image this will actually give your photograph a very awesome look now again just press ctrl l from the keyboard and just move the slider from here and also from the here now this one is really matching your photograph with the subject background so here you can still add some more darkness if you want in there add to plus 5 so you can see the difference a huge difference can be seen in the image now you can merge it with the background layer here the important thing is to you know do 
do the process of blurring on the edge so we'll select the blur tool from here select the strain to 100% select hard drawn brush and just do the process of blurring on the edge of the subject just like this way because this will actually you know blend your image with the background and your photograph will look very much realistic like it is captured from the camera so it is very much necessary that you should always do this process whenever you are doing the editing you should blur the edge of the you know cut out image so this is how you can do this process now it is really looking very much amazing now let's uh, give this layer so the next thing would be to add some sun rays on the image so let's add this sun rays just drag and drop over here press ctrl t from the keyboard and increase the size of the sun rays now let's just keep it somewhere over here change the blending mode to screen and this one is really looking now press ctrl l from the keyboard and move the slider a little bit yes now it is really looking very much amazing now here you can add some butterflies so let's select the butterflies from here just drag and drop over here press ctrl t from the keyboard And let's just place it somewhere over here. Now here you can add some light on the image. So if you want to change the color of the butterfly, you can always press Ctrl U and you can change the color. Let's pick this uh, cyan color and just change it to red color if you want to change. now this one is really looking very much amazing now let's create new layer select the brush tool and let's pick this uh, saffron color from here and let's add some stroke of it on this change the blending mode to screen and also you can just make it more light and if you want to make or you can also create some soft light effect on it now again let's create new layer and let's just pick this color now change it to screen place it below the butterfly layer now press ctrl T Now again press ctrl J from the keyboard and let's place it somewhere over here. Again press ctrl J from the keyboard and let's keep it somewhere over here. Now press ctrl J again and just place it below the all the layers. Above all the layers now here you can just change it to lighten and decrease the opacity and also you can add it over here
Let's select the eraser tool and let's just select the soft round brush. And you can always just delete some unwanted light strokes. Now let's add some more, you know, fairy lights or this uh, fantasy lights from here and just drag it and drop over here. Press Ctrl T from the keyboard and just change the blending mode to screen. Now this one is really looking very much fantasy type. Now all you have to do is just to select all the layers, press Ctrl D and you can place it somewhere over here. It should, you know, the subjects or the models I should look exactly on this area. So you should keep this as the distance. Just over here. Now this one is really a very perfect position I guess. Now if you want to still... Uh, let's add some dust particle. Just drag and drop over here. Press Ctrl D from the keyboard. Rotate it. Change the blending mode to screen. Now this snow particle is really making your photograph to look amazing. You can delete some bigger particles if you want to de uh, delete and let's select this eraser tool. Select the soft round brush and let's delete this bigger particles from the image. Also from the facial region. Now this one is really looking amazing. Now finally here we have done a very perfect moody photo for our Instagram. Just like Caleb so you can just merge all the layers from here. Right click on it and select merge layers. So finally you can see the difference here is the before and here is the after. I hope you all guys have enjoyed the video and if you enjoyed then just press the like button on this video so that it will motivate me to make more videos and preset for you guys. And if you still haven't subscribed to our channel then do subscribe and press the notification icon to get latest update. And also visit our website that is www.asfaircreations.com from there you can download backgrounds, camera preset, lightroom preset and every kind of photo editing stuff just for free. So guys go and check it out my website and also follow me on Instagram also. Thank you for watching and bye bye till the next video.